All right, got us a coin. It's even in an official Texas Tech coin. Ooh, fancy. Um, nurse a flag football when it was here back All in right. 2012. So you want the double T or you want flag football? Uh, give me the double T, man. I'll go with double, double T. T. I'm going to try to flip it and catch it and show what I got. No. Double T it is. Double T it is. First pick for your boy. <laughs> so you want to defer? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take second, second hand. You know, you know, some of me kind of wants to just like give you that because I know the first pick, and then maybe it can get interesting beyond that. But so it is like take, right, so it's gonna be you'll get one, and then I'll get two, three, and I'll get four or five. Yeah. So do you want one, four, five, or do you want two, three, six, seven? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take the number one overall I'm pick here. Gonna, gonna awesome. do that. Yeah. Looking through these games, though, and kind of yeah, reminiscing right. a lot of things and watching some videos uh, on a lot of them, too. So, go ahead, yeah. bro. Yeah, it was fun to reminisce on this one, yeah. but obviously the overall number one pick has to be 2008 Texas Tech. Knocks off number one Texas 39-33 thanks to some heroics from Graham Harrell and Michael Crabtree. Uh, Crabtree pulls free, touchdown Red Raiders, something that we will remember for the rest of our lives as – uh, the biggest victory that Texas Tech has really ever had. And yeah. so that obviously has to be my number one pick. So after Easy that, Dustin, to you for your your first pick. It's my number one overall number two pick. I'm going to go to the 2004 Holiday Bowl. 2004. Aaron Rodgers, number four, Cal um, and Aaron Rodgers, and they were pretty high on their season. And then we were an 11-point underdog and pulled out the upset by – 14 points on their, on their ass. So that's yeah. a real big upset, especially against a big team, big quarterback, you know, Cliff versus Aaron Rodgers. So we can always hold that over, over right. them. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I had that on my list as well. So, so got to mark that one off. Yep. So it does um, your number two yeah, pick. Yeah, here's her. I kind of, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go, I don't know which one of these I want. The... I can probably get that one later. So give me the 2002 A&M game at A&M, the Wes Wilker down the sideline punt game. One, one of the most iconic tech pictures, so I had to get an A&M game in there. Uh, it's always, you know, they are our primary rival when they were in the Big 12, so always good to beat them on their own field. Yeah, I had that one up there on my list as well. All right, my number two overall pick, I'm going to stick with a beating Texas theme here. Uh, I'm going back to 2002 for this one. Yeah, yeah, number four, it. Texas and Chris Sims came into town, was still had the hopes of uh, making it to the BCS uh, championship game, but Texas Tech spoiled that, uh, led by Cliff Kingsbury, Nehemiah Glover, Wes Welker, and then boys got the job done to get a 42-38 victory. Uh, and Ryan Acock got the interception to seal the deal at the end. It was our first win over a top five team under Mike Leach, and it was his first victory over Texas. So uh, keeping my top two uh, Texas themed here, but for number yeah. three, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go different, and I'm gonna go to the 2006 Insight Bowl. I'm imagining that you probably had that one. <laughs> Dang it. Of course, if y'all remember this game, uh, down 38-7, to seven, uh, Texas Tech comes back to defeat Minnesota in the Insight Bowl, 44-41 to 41 in overtime, the largest comeback in bowl history. Uh, yep. At the time, it was alone up there. Since then, TCU has tied us, but it's still a record. And so that was um, a memorable game for all of Texas. Tech fans, it was kind of the jump start to Graham Harrell's career. Yeah. You know, he he was the quarterback in that ball game, and so, um, you know, and obviously one that just kind of lives on when you make history like that. It, it's something that you're going to remember for a long time. So I had yeah. to go. I had that one as my next pick because I was a freshman that year, so I was watching the game. Of course, we were down bad, but I had this pulled up, so I wanted to dive into it a little bit more. We had to score 24 points in the fourth quarter. Yeah, just to tie it. Alex really could hit the 52 yarder, which is a bomb of a game. He nails it. I mean, so the fact that you came back that bad, and they were 
on your ass real bad. You were down 35 to seven at halftime. It was yeah. like, horrible. <laughs> There's like so no they point. Had, like the best D end in the country that year. I think, uh, I can't remember who, but they had some stud defensive player that year. So great, great comeback. On that. Yep. Yeah. Legendary comeback. So had to, gotta, had to get that one. So feel pretty good about mine. Bit. All right. So uh, your third pick, Dustin. All right. So I'm going to go. My third's going to be 2009 at Nebraska. Okay. Ass kicking against Indomitian Sue. Brandon yeah. Carter held his ass down. He didn't do anything all game. But the, by the announcers, you wouldn't have known that. You would have thought he's still a Heisman candidate. Brandon yeah. Carter had different ideas. But we beat them 31 to 10. Looking at you, Craig James. <laughs> yeah. I remember they also kept posting that this is like their third highest attendance ever at their big stadium. Um, and like Siak said, Sue was a Heisman candidate as a defensive tackle. And we just put it on. Yeah. They never had a chance. 31 to 10. Sticks. Blowout. Sticks was the. Sticks was rolling. <laughs> but unfortunately got hurt in that game. But still led, led you to victory. A good yep. one. Um. Yeah, that's Where's definitely that definitely a good one. So, your fourth and final pick, unless you just want to keep riding this thing, I don't know. We can uh, we figure it out as we go. Keep. I can go five, but for my four, I think I can still get that one later. So I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna get an OU game in here. Um, I'll, I'll take 2009 Oklahoma, 41 to 13. Pretty solid, just ass beating of them as well. Um, I have two Oklahoma games on my list, uh, so I'll take that one okay. um, in this fourth spot. All right, so you got five. a lot of Who options. I got a lot of options to pick from. Yeah, you here. had how many did you have? Tell the people how many games you had ready for this. I've got a I got a list of fifteen, and <laughs> the two that you took there were not on my fifteen. Oh. See, I'm I left that Nebraska game real hard. So I, oh, you know. I, I considered it, but man, what do I want to take here? So I'm going to go with my fourth pick. I'm going to go back to 2008 um, for this one. And I'm going to take the following week after you knocked off Texas. The Oklahoma State Cowboys came to town, mm -hmm. ranked number eight. Um, you oh, had just yeah. gotten ranked number two in the country. You had your chance to prove that you were, you know, that that number one Texas upset wasn't a fluke, and you just destroyed Oklahoma Eesh. State, who had Des Bryant, who had Lee Corso thinking we were going to lose, yep. um, and you just dominated them 56 to 20 uh, to stay undefeated and keep yourself at number two in the country. So you followed up like your biggest win in program history, and you didn't let down. You just completely destroyed a really good Oklahoma State team. And so yeah. um, I think that has to be up there because I think that's one of your totally. best victories ever. Um, yeah. And I so, being at that game and yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, anytime you can beat Oklahoma State, and that's when we were kind of keeping them pressed down. That was a really good, like, statement type victory after the year. Like right. Said, of, you know, of the season last week. So. Last pick. My last pick, I'm going to maybe steal your Oklahoma one here. That's fine. <laughs> gonna, I wasn't going to go there. No, I've been saving a different one. I'm going to go, man, but I have two Oklahoma ones, and I just don't know which one I want to pick here. I'm not going to take it, but I had an 07 Oklahoma. On yeah, the list. I have that one. I'm debating that or Torian Henderson stretching the mm -hmm. ball. Those are my two OU games. And I'm, yes. I'm going to go 2007 because Oklahoma okay. was number three. It won 34 to 27. And not only did that victory, it wasn't an upset victory, it knocked them out of the chance to go to yep. the uh, the BCS national oh, title game. So, that game. yeah. Um, so that was a big, a big win for you. It was, I think, the first uh, – or – you know, it was a huge win over Oklahoma, and so you don't have a whole lot of those. So anytime you get to beat Oklahoma, it's pretty nice. So yep. I'm gonna have to take that one with my last pick. I feel pretty good about that one. Yeah, good pick there. Um, so my last pick, last one this draft. Luckily, I have two games left. <laughs> of my, I only have like a list of ten. So, um, but I was saving this one and hoping it would drop to me, and it did. 
2001 Texas A&M game. The infamous field goal that. post get carried yeah. out of the stadium game. This is a legendary game in Lubbock, and A&M fans that were there and kind of know of it still talk about it to this day because the students rush upset of a and m students and fans rush the field and tear down the goalposts and then they were carrying them out of the stadium and the quickest exit yeah. was through the north end zone and it wasn't as built up as it is now there was kind of a exit i don't know what you want to call it well that's also where the a and m <laughs> band and student section or fan section was they thought we were throwing the post at them basically <laughs> so it, pretty infamous game for uh yeah tech in general um, yeah and it was leach's first win time. over his first win over a&m too yeah that's what i wanted to bring up too is he had a seven and three record against a&m uh as the head coach here so that's very good against your in-state rival all right so to wrap it up dustin run through your one through five that you drafted? One was 2004 Holiday Bowl versus Aaron Rodgers. Two was the A&M West Welker sideline punt return game. Three was 2009 Nebraska kicking in Domkin's Sue's ass. Four was 2009 Oklahoma 41-13. And then five was the 2001 Texas A&M field goal post game. All righty. My... Picks, I got uh, number one, 2008, Crabtree catch to beat Texas. My second pick, staying along with UT, 2002, Cliff Kingsbury over Chris Sims and the number four, Texas Longhorns. Uh, my number three pick, I had uh, Minnesota, or the comeback against Minnesota uh, in the Insight Bowl. Uh, my number four, I had Oklahoma State. Uh, in 2008, the number eighth ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys at the time, dismantling them 56 to 20. And to finish it off, I had the 2007 upset of number three, Oklahoma. That spoiled their shot at a national championship appearance. Yeah. Some, uh, I'll, I'll throw out the other games that I had on here. Yeah, that some honorable didn't, mentions here. Yeah, some honorable mentions on the outside looking in. I had 2005 Texas Tech. Uh, Shocking Nebraska, the Cody Hodges to Joel Falani in the final seconds of the game uh, to beat Nebraska on their homecoming. It was the, like the first time they had been beaten on homecoming in like 36 years at that point. Yeah, uh, and, Joel Falani. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a ridiculous play. Uh, and I was at that game. So for me personally, that's <laughs> kind of why it falls up there uh, on top of my list. I had the Torian Henderson falling across the goal line to – Oklahoma 23 to 21 on the very last play of the game. Um, I had Tech defeating AM in 2006. The Graham Harrell pass to Robert Johnson that just dropped right in there between the AM defender. When Javorski Lane was on the AM and they would just run it with him yep. four yards every play and it was unstoppable. It was huge. Yep. I have another AM Javorski Lane one when they came to Lubbock in 2007. This was after, like, Crabtree was off to a hot start and Javorski Lane guaranteed victory over us. <laughs> and they had a defensive back who said they were going to shut down Crabtree. Okay. And Tech went on to win 35-7. to seven, And I just remember the chance of guarantee. Nice. Guarantee. Yeah. And also Michael Crabtree went for 170 yards. So good job <laughs> stopping. Yeah. Um, I have B.J. Simmons out dueling. Uh, Eli Manning and Ole Miss in 2003 uh, for a 49-45 victory. I have Tech's victory over Clemson in the Tangerine Bowl in 2002. Yeah. It was Leach's first bowl victory for us, and you beat them 55-15. to 15. <laughs> um, I've got the 2004 domination of Nebraska where you beat them 70-10. to 10. That was I on think, my list as well. I think that's their – uh, worst loss in Anytime history. Game 70, but then also have a 60 point <laughs> margin of victory. It's got to be on the list. Ridiculous. <laughs> and I think that covers all of them. So, yeah, that's all I had. I just had that last Nebraska game left. So I was able to squeeze by there. Yeah, yeah. So lots of really fun victories. 2006. Inside, I, I knew I knew you were gonna get it that next time, so I was like, I had to take it. It was uh, 
so the holiday bowl was number three on my list and uh, mm. the insight was number four and you know the reason that the holiday is because it was number four california and aaron Rodgers. so yeah. but yeah it was fun to kind of take a look back on on some of the other leech games you know besides yeah. 2008 and kind of make you think <laughs> on on drafting that so Catch y'all at the next tailgate.